This video is on starting the unbroke horse in our saddle. This is a uh, draft horse. Being in the beginning, I'm going to move him from left to right, right to left. Um, this horse has already had a saddle on him. He's already had uh, people on him just leading him around bareback and uh, with the saddle on. But there's a big difference to where you're leading him and to where you get on by yourself. And this at this stage with this horse I'm getting on by myself so I want to make sure he's soft from left to right and right to left and that's what I'm doing in this video it's just really softening them up and then uh, here in a few minutes we'll go to getting on them but in the beginning you want to really make sure the horse is soft from left to right and right to left uh, that you can just give with uh, ease in case something goes wrong while you're up there or while you're going to get on him that he can uh, give his nose and move his hip so hip control in this is the uh, very beginning and it's one of the most important things that you're going to ever teach a horse uh, also known later on in the horse's training as a uh, emergency stop again this horse has had you know people on him just lead him around bareback and with a saddle um, he is 17 2 plus, maybe 18 hands, and he's a uh, big boy. So next we are going to go to uh, getting on him. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot except for kick the syrup around a little bit. Then I'm going to put my foot in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and, and get on him. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get halfway up on him. And if he's nice, calm, and relaxed like he is... Then we'll go ahead and swing a leg over him, and then we're going to start the hip control all over again. Where I pick up the left rein, and he moves his hip, and then you'll see here where I pick up the right rein, and he gets really nervous and starts moving his hip around uh, really uh, nervously. And but as long as I held on to that rein, he was fine. And you know, he relaxed and I went back to the left, then went back to the right. He got a little jumpy again going to the right, then I went back to the left, back to the right. The more times I do it, the calmer he's going to be because he's going to see there is no reason uh, for him to be getting scared because nothing bad is happening to him. He's not getting hurt, um, there's nothing going on, there's no reason to get jumpy. Um, I chose this small arena because. You know, it's big enough to uh, start the unbroke horse in, but it's also small enough to where if something to get out of control, um, there's really nowhere he can go. So it's not like a large arena, but it's a small arena, and he did uh, pretty good in it. And you can see I'm moving him around to the left, and then to the right, and then back to the left, and back to the right. And even though he was jumping on his right, he starts relaxing, and he starts calming down um, quite a bit. So, you know, he did pretty good. Um, he, he is, like I said, a really big horse. His shoulder is higher than my head with my hat on. So, um, but, um, you know, you can do this type of uh, start and unbroke course with any horse. You just have to go in step by step by step. Now we're going to go into uh, shoulder control with the horse and teaching him where to move his shoulders to. Um, as we uh, continue the hips going back and forth with the hips left to right and right to left and you know he just keeps you know doing good he starts relaxing he starts calming down and he's uh, doing really well and here in uh, you know a minute we'll go into how to uh, get him to start walking forward but you got to be able to get a hold of those hips or control those hips with by you know if you lift up the uh, left rein the horse will move his uh, right hip to the left and the right hip to the right and uh, just really control those hips and have a really soft mouth on the horse so if something does happen you, you will be able to uh, control it now we're going to go into shoulder control and get the horse to move forward so if I move pick up the right rein the right the right shoulder is going to move to the right and left rein left shoulder moves to the left and you know eventually he's going to start walking forward on his own 
because he's going to realize it's a lot easier to for him to move forward on his own than me saying right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, um, so forth. So in this video, this was a really good day for this horse. He did uh, really well. Um, the first time I was on him and nobody leading him off or anything, he did uh, really well. So he was kind of on his own, which he was kind of lost in the beginning. But he got through it and, uh, you know, even going to the right where he got jumpy, he started relaxing, calming down, realizing nothing was going to hurt him. Um, and again, he's a big horse, so he's going to be used mainly for uh, trail riding and uh, I think doing some carriage work, which when it comes to the carriage work, another trainer will take over and teach him how to uh, pull a uh, carriage. Um, but my only thing is to you know get on them and get them walk trotting cantering and out on the trails so i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe to my youtube page to see new videos as they come out thank you